not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. Hail, fellow travelers. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. I'm not sure what they're doing here. Someone trained them to pull a sled. Not for us. Domesticated gulag. Most unusual. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? <laughs> this cave extends underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining, now that they're barred from the temple. <sighs> Great. attack us well this is their home and considering what happened the last time we were in alpha can you really blame them <sighs> the creature you heard what does it say now it's not always like that some animals are just... I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, the wee bastard's about to explode! <laughs> 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 I've never been this interested before. When I talk to animals or enchanted rings or whatever. Much has changed for both of us. Well, yeah. 
I'm just trying to figure out why you'd help some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want, too. to abandon it but if we have to kill a bunch of dark elves to get there i remember a young lad whom until this very moment would take on an army of draugr to save a wounded animal but these aren't undead draugr they're elves i just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes getting involved where we shouldn't <gasps> feel like no matter what we do in Alfheim, we wind up hurting Dark Elves. We are down here to help the creature you hurt. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. The largest bloody half you I've ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Moon. Get you out. What is that name? Well, the last good thing we saw was Gainer, so... Oh, boy. Well, I appreciate the attempt at humor. That little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing. Oh, well, can't all be winners. Yeah, there we go. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? Hafgifers are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. 
but it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves. Any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the Hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this Hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it. It flies. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here. But don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered? He just wants to spend time with you, lad. While well, he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. <laughs> Another of Cavassia's poems. Brother, you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then. <gasps> made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. <sighs> Nothing, brother. Just you ever have those more oh, that thought? I think it's about to get right. <laughs> Oh, 
power of her. Reminds me of tales of a cruel empress. One too angry to die. We will see. Okay. What other terrible things have Odin and Thor done? Okay. There was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Primther. He built the walls of Asgard and whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her ah! and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. Old. We will finish later.